Attorney General Bill Barr tapping a top prosecutor to investigate how the Russia probe began. A uh, source telling Fox News, Connecticut attorney, actually U.S. attorney from the District of Connecticut, John Durham, will look into government surveillance of the Trump campaign, including the Department of Justice's use of informants and potential FISA abuses. Here to weigh in, Fox News senior judicial analyst and host of Liberty File on Fox Nation, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Another person looking into how this all got started. What yes, do you know but, about this? But this person has uh, prosecutorial authority. I mean, the the... Inspector General Mike Horowitz, whose report we expect uh, almost any week now, cannot prosecute. And the Senate uh, Judiciary Committee, as well-intentioned as Senator Graham may be, cannot prosecute. But John Durham can prosecute. So this is the investigation that the president has been calling for and that the president has promised. Who and how and under what circumstances did the whole thing get started? And if anybody committed a crime, is there still a, an, enough time left to prosecute them? This is finally coming together in one place at one time before a very experienced prosecutor who has been Washington's go-to guy when they need themselves some aspect of the federal government right. investigated. Well, he's gone after the FBI. He's gone after uh, the CIA. How the CIA treated people and where yes. those videotapes were. Yes, went. yes. So he's very experienced. You know, it's unusual, having been in law enforcement, I can tell you, it's unusual when the target is somebody you work with, right. uh, part of the right. law enforcement community. That's, it's not that's what makes it hard. Correct. It's not unusual for him because he's the guy they keep going to for it. So in my view, the attorney general picked the right person at the right time to do this job that the president's been asking. So in theory, he could walk over. You tell me if this is likely. He could look at this and say... Yeah, I don't like some of the things you were done, but I could understand why the FBI did it, judging by what was coming at them at that time. Could that's, that be? A that's the Chris Ray argument from the other day that the president was so upset about. Yeah. In theory, he could, you know, the answer to your question is yes, Brian. In theory, he could also say this was a lie. This was a falsified. This was uh, this was perjury. This was fraud. This was deception. I'm going to indict all these people. Because you know we'll James Baker's on will. the offensive now, trying to this you know save his the name before. Here. So so is the other James, who was uh, the topic of the news I haven't noticed. there recently. Yeah. <laughs> the, the six foot eight. You one. said something in the beginning. You said time could be running out. Well, the statute of limitations for these is crimes what? is five years. So it depends upon uh, They're looking all back federal, right before virtually the all federal crimes. There are right. some that are longer that are not relevant here. Judge, time to go to a guy coming up next that you were talking to in the green room. Oh, what a great, great human being. Great pitcher for the Yankees and the Mets, David Cohn. Right, it was the Mets and then the Yankees. Just Thank so you judge. I just said it in the wrong order. <laughs> yes, yes, you did. How dare you? That's why you're here to correct me, Brian. Uh, that's why I'm a Mets fan. Even on the law, you're here to correct me. <laughs> okay.